Hello, this is an interesting question I had today. What is the cost to you of doing it by yourself? What am I referring to? Have you ever been in a position where you felt it's cheaper for me to do it by myself? Maybe you wanna fix something in your home or you're gonna learn something on your own or you wanna build something and you say, I'm gonna do it myself, right? What's the cost to you in doing that? Maybe you're looking to build a business and you figure, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna just take the learning curve of whatever it's gonna be and I'll figure it out as I go. Well, did you ever think there's a cost to learning? Well, I've learned there really is a very big cost from doing it alone. And one thing I was very intrigued with is today I had an opportunity to work with one of my clients and we were at a city summit where I was a speaker and Alex Stern happened to have been a guest speaker also. If you don't know Alec, he's quite amazing. He is the builder and founder of Constant Contact. Over 20 years ago, when we didn't even have the kind of services of email service and doing all the stuff that we're doing where you can randomly send things out to a whole group of people. And he started a business where there was no competition, no one was doing it, no one ever heard of it before. Well, what happened is my client ended up winning a bid through an auction for charity and she ended up getting a private four hour session with Alec. And it was interesting when I saw her win and she was all excited, couldn't wait. And she says to me, okay, will you do this with me? And I was like, well, what is it that we need to be on that call for? What are we gonna learn? Um, what's it about? I said, I'm sure it'll be great, but okay, do we really need this right now? And at the end of the day, I'm gonna say, yes, we did. And why is that I don't care how much you know or how smart you think you are, you will always learn something if you open your mind to it. And why I say that is because just listening to Alex's thought processes as he walked my client step by step through different questions to understand her business so he can support her was so mind blowing in how pointed he was in the question, how he saw things from a different perspective, as he took it from like a 10,000 foot view and took it down for her to a level where it was bite-sized and she was able to implement what she needed to do. The challenge is a lot of times we think, well, I'm gonna do it myself, I'm the shortcut, I can just do it. And really what happens is somebody else's experience who's walked the walk, not just talking the talk, who can actually tell you how to get there faster and easier is priceless, honestly priceless. And the coolest part about learning everything is that when you hear it from a different perspective, from someone who's already walked it, you don't have to go through the same mistakes they did. And it was funny because there were things I had shared with my client over the last year and said, well, I don't know that this is the best vehicle. I've, I've done this, I've seen other people do it and it doesn't actually work and why? And then all of a sudden I have a veteran who's done it for 20 years who said the same thing I told her, which was kind of cool hearing it's being supported, but even more important, understanding his logic to why he was saying it, which was very similar to mine, but a different perspective in why he got to that conclusion. So I think that exper experience is priceless. And if there's ever something that you're looking to accomplish and somebody else has already done it, then find out how they did it. Think of them as your trusted guide, the person who can lead you where you wanna go. There is no reason ever to recreate the, meal, the wheel. You know, one of the things I love is modeling. Modeling is when somebody tells you how to do something, you find out what they did and you do the same thing. Well, that's, the, that's what really works, that's history. It's like, why try to make cake by putting it to getting all these ingredients, you say, okay, well, you know what, I got this cake recipe and I'm gonna go put the flour in, I'm gonna put the water in, mm, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna put the icing on, I'm gonna cook it, I'm gonna wait for the eggs for the end. Well, that will be the worst cake, right? We wanna model how to make the cake, we wanna do it in the right order, because just because you have the ingredients when you don't know the right order, it doesn't mean it's gonna come out the same. Can you imagine you do a cake recipe and then you put the eggs at the end and you put it on top of the icing? That's just not the right kind of cake, right? So what you wanna do is that if you wanna know how to do something and you think I'm saving money or time by doing it myself, I'm gonna share with you, it may be costing you money and time trying to do it by yourself. 
the real secret to success is that none of us have more than 24 hours in a day is finding out what others have done and replicating that and doing the same thing not your version of it but the same thing so you can get the same results and success leaves clues and it was quite inspirational motivational educational today the lesson I had gotten from Alec listening to him guide my client through these different processes and I loved it it was like seeing a master craftsman at work and learning all the details of the way he actually sees things and how he built a multi 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 million dollar business which was amazing that he sold off many years ago and now he consults all these companies on best practices and how to do this stuff and how to make things scalable and it's just mind-blowing I'm excited so if you haven't noticed I'm very excited so here's here's the tip of the day the tip is very simple find experience somebody who's done what you want and have them show you how to do it that's the best use of your time and your money and your future see you soon love you bye